In this video, we'll look at how to get started with the DevExpress Blazor Drawer component. This component allows you to add a collapsible side panel to your application. Use this panel to host navigation controls or display additional information about the current view. I've already created an application based on the Blazor web app template and configured it to use DevExpress components. The application includes several pages with predefined content in the main layout page. I add the DevExpress drawer component to the main layout. The isOpen property controls the drawer panel visibility. I set it to true to make the panel permanently displayed. Additionally, I specify the panel width and some CSS rules to adjust the panel appearance. I add a menu to the body template to help users navigate between pages. The selected page from the menu will be displayed in the target content area. Okay, now my application displays the drawer. The nested menu allows navigation between pages. Let's make the drawer collapsible. I bind the isOpen property to a variable to show and hide the drawer in code. I enabled the interactive server render mode for the entire application because a property value cannot be changed dynamically in static render mode. I add a DX toolbar component populated with a button. The click on the button will toggle the is open property value. Let's see how it works. Now a user can click the toolbar button to show and hide the drawer. The drawer component can display a minimized panel when the full size panel is closed. In fact, the panel changes its width instead of closing. I enable the minimized mode and specify the width of the minimized panel. Additionally, I specify a CSS rule that hides menu item text in the minimized state. And let's see the result. Now when I click the button, the drawer panel minimizes instead of closing, and I still have single click access to navigation commands. The drawer panel appears to the left and shrinks the target content. I set the position property to right and change the mode property to overlap to demonstrate another drawer position and mode. Additionally, I hide the drawer on the page load. And let's see the result. Okay, now the drawer appears to the right of the target content and overlaps and grays out target content. The DevExpress Blazor drawer component requires interactive render mode to dynamically change its is open state. However, there are two strategies to dynamically display and hide the drawer in static SSR render mode. The first strategy implies adding query params to the page URL. Query params are key value pairs that go after the question mark in a page URL. These parameters can set values for component properties. You can try this approach in our DevExpress Blazor project templates in versions 24.1.6 and later. I've created this project using the template. The key implementation point is to specify the supply parameter from query attribute for the drawers is open parameter and toggle it in the URL to show and hide the drawer. The second strategy implies conditional CSS rules. You can set the drawer width to zero based on a toggle element state. For instance, in the current example, I use a checkbox for this purpose. The drawer style changes when the checkbox is checked. Okay, let's see the result. We created a GitHub example that demonstrates this approach. You can find the link to the example under this video. Both strategies are also described in our blog posts, the link to which you can find under the video. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.